Yo, what's up guys, Sitchko Golan here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys already saw in the title, I will be doing a Q&A video. I honestly didn't really prepare much for this guys, like yesterday night before going to sleep. I made a tweet saying, I'll try to record a Q&A tomorrow, leave your questions under this tweet and please try to be um, like unique, like try to be unique this way. Like I won't answer like all the same questions like all the time. So I will try to go through them, uh, yeah, like as many questions as possible on Twitter. I also actually made a community post on YouTube, so I will also, uh, yeah, made video. Try to switch over to the YouTube questions, like if there are some, uh, yeah, more like unique ones, which I didn't answer there yet. And also, guys, I will try to put some, um, yeah, replays, like in the background. Yesterday, uh, when, like from Pain Gaming, actually invited me to play a tournament. So I actually played, uh, yeah, against Air Server. Fortunately, you guys will already see the results, like right now on the screen. But I, I thought it would still be nice to kind of have some gameplay on the background while I will be answering, like, most of your guys' questions. So I would say let's just, um, yeah, put the first replay and then I will also start answering the questions. So I uh, yeah also uh, I also said like on Twitter like make sure to like the tweets you uh, like the like the questions like the tweets you see and you want me to answer. So the first one is actually from Morton like the first one who pops up and he uh, says I'm nice. So I can't really answer that because we'll be going to China tomorrow. So I don't want him to hit me before going to China. Um, but anyways, the second question is from Thunderstruck. He's like, what are some things the players can do to get to your level? So I think it's really um, player based, like it depends on the players in my opinion, because some players need to train like a bunch of hours like a day. Some players just like naturally like have the talent. Some players need to, um, for example, do like a different practice. Like for example, like personally, I'm a player who loves to play like friendly matches. Like I would be down to play like all day long, like playing friendly matches against like other pro players, but maybe so, uh, like other uh, players like want to practice specific matchups. Maybe other players want to play, for example, challenges, tournaments, whatever. Like I feel like it depends per player. Um, and I also don't think like it's like some players are just a little bit better because of like a natural like aspect. Um, but of course, like putting in the hours is definitely like one of the most important things. Like most of the times actually putting in the hours is above like the people who just like naturally like are skilled. But in my opinion, um, if you like our natural skill, like you just need to have like a different approach. So hopefully I uh, yeah, explained that a little bit or I explained that well. So second question is from Sigtau22. I'm sorry, by the way, if uh, I pronounced the names uh, incorrectly, but he's like, what is a typical day like for you before a match, like from sun up to sundown? So our matches usually were around like 11 a.m., uh, 12 a.m. So that was actually perfect in my opinion. Like we just woke up, like we... Um, of course, like have breakfast, relax. Personally, I took a shower. Like I actually like to on game day. Like I actually like to like I have a speaker. I just put like some hype music. I just try to yeah kind of get like in the mood, like uh, kind of like a hype mood. Then we actually like Eric, the coach, actually has his car right here. So we actually drive all together, like with the five of us towards the studio. Most of the times there's still like a match before us, like going on. So we just watch that, uh, relax a little bit, like hype each other up. And then we end up playing the match. And most of the times, like, if we um, have a match, like, the next day, we would actually go back, like, to the Alienware training facility to practice and prepare, like, analyze the match, uh, like, for the day afterwards. But if we didn't have a uh, match afterwards, like, we just stayed to watch the other matches because this season we were actually able to kind of watch it live, like, there um, with the other teams, like, in the audience. So it was actually really cool. Like, the atmosphere, like, that was actually really cool. So then afterwards, like, we would just go for dinner um go home and sleep so that would basically uh yeah look like a typical day like on a match day and if not like the other days most of the days we're actually preparing and practicing like analyzing stuff like that so uh the next question is from war thing he's actually saying or he's actually asking who's the best player for you in the world right now so yeah in my opinion you can't really say like who's the best player in the world because i feel like it just depends like pair kind of like meta pair kind of like moment um, in some metas, in some tournaments, like this one player is like super dominant and in the next meta or the next tournament, like he did, he doesn't really do that well. So in my opinion, you can't really say, um, yeah, who's the best player in the world. But of course, like you definitely know, like for example, right now, like the top five players in this CRL are definitely really consistent players and are definitely up there. But in my opinion, it's impossible to say like who's the best player in the world. So it looks like the match finished. I'll quickly put on the second replay. Um, that's this one. Okay, so let's hop into the next question, guys, or let's move on to the next question. So next question is from Ika. He says, name the three most decisive or decisive, decisive, decisive excuse me, factors for um, number one, teams choosing players, and then number two, players choosing teams. So this one is actually really interesting, and I feel like I can't really tell, um, th like, based on different players. Like, some players actually, actually like, do go for money. Uh, other players actually do go for, like, friendships, like, connections. Um, but in my opinion, like the teams, like the three most decisive factors from teams like playing, um, choosing players 
of course, is number one, like skill. Like, of course, like they need to be good. Second of all, like attitude, like mentality um, and reputation. Like, I mean, that's kind of like diff uh, three different things. But of course, like if you if your attitude is good, like if your mentality is good, you most of the times also have like a really good reputation. So in my opinion, that's definitely uh, yeah really important as well. Of course, like uh, if you're known like for a really toxic player or if you're known for, I don't know, like maybe being salty maybe whatever like in my opinion that's kind of like um, a negative thing like for teams like picking you up so definitely as i said like the most uh in my opinion the most like three decisive factors excuse me i still uh, pronouncing it wrong i feel like um are for sure like number one skill like for sure you need to be good of course second of all like mentality and attitude and then th uh, third of all i feel like actually reputation is actually super important like also your image like on social media like i feel like if you're active on social media like you have a good uh, following that of course much more attractive like for a team to pick you up than if you're not necessarily random but like not really active on social media stuff like that so that's definitely uh, yeah good question so let's hop into the next one uh so milan actually asked what achievement are you most proud of um or yeah, what achievement are you the most proud of except for winning Sierra West? So for sure, I would have said Sierra West, like winning Sierra West. Um, but then the second most proud, I feel like Kings Cup 2. I don't know if you guys remember this uh, tournament, but it was actually a format where you had like one YouTuber, one pro player, like eight or not one, like eight uh, YouTubers, eight pro players, and then also um, eight players like from the audience who would qualify. So I was actually, um, Viva La Sparky, I think was the name, like Viva La Sparky with Clash with Ash. Big shout out to Clash with Ash, by the way. Um, we actually ended up winning this tournament, but we were down like in the finals 2-1. It was kind of like a King of the Hill format where um, the first game was YouTuber versus YouTuber. Then the second game, I think you can decide, but I'm not sure if it was qualified player versus qualified player or you can decide, but I'm pretty sure you can decide it yourself. And then I was the third player, so Ash already lost. I was also teamed with Vulcan, by the way, so Vulcan already lost in the finals, so we were down uh, yet 2-1. Then they actually ended up sweeping Azilis, like the second match, like 3-0. And then it was, uh, yeah, just basically one match away, like from the first place, um, back then was like 60,000. So, of course, like insanely pressure, like the pressure was insane. Um, I was super nervous, but at the same time, like I was enjoying it so much, like the adre adrenaline, I'm not sure if I said it right. Um, yeah, it was insane. And then I actually ended up winning that one, like 3-2, like super close as well. So, yeah, I just went insane, like after winning that. So, that's probably my, um, yeah, achievement, which I'm the most proud of. But, of course, like the other tournaments, like ESWC and stuff like that, I'm also super proud of. But probably Kings Cup 2, uh, yeah, definitely up there. So, let's hop into the next, uh, yeah, replay, guys. And I'll probably be switching over to some uh, YouTube questions soon. I'm sorry if, like, the answers are, like, really long and kind of boring. I'm just trying to explain it, like, uh, yeah, well for you guys. So Danny is asking, when back in Holland, do you plan on studying anything? If so, what do you have in mind? So when going back to Holland, I actually don't have um, yeah, studying like as a plan. I actually want to start being like really consistent with YouTube again, like my videos. And of course, start preparing for the next season of CRL because I feel like the next season of CRL will be um, yeah pretty soon. Maybe even like within a month. Like I actually don't know, but I feel like it actually will be really soon because I already saw a lot of like CRL uh, teams like doing tryouts like with uh, different players, like new players. So Sweep asked, uh, also on Twitter, by the way, like, how was it like winning Zero West? So, of course, like, amazing, like, the um, basically, like, a dream coming true. I can't really, yeah, how you say, like, describe it, because for for some reason, I don't know why, it kind of felt, um, I don't know if that's the right word, but surreal. Like, I didn't really believe it, because we were at one moment actually tied for last. Like, we were 2-4 in the competition, tied for last, um, things weren't looking good, like, at all. But then we actually made the turnaround going... Um, yeah, on a five win streak to be able to make it to the playoffs like we went from 2-4 to 7-4 and then in the playoffs like we actually ended up winning 2-0 uh, in sets and the finals actually 3-0 so it was kind of like yeah how you say this like unreal like um i don't know I, I couldn't really believe it but of course as i said like a dream coming true so of course like super super happy and also a big shout out to you guys like for the support for understanding like of course it did end up um yeah costing me for example not being able to upload youtube videos Stuff like that, but it was definitely worth the wait. So I do want to, yeah, as I said, thank you guys for the support. So let's hop into the next question, which is from Coach Oak, also on Twitter. After this question, I will be moving on to the YouTube, like the, um, the community post, like the question from there. But he is asking, what did Team Liquid do differently this year compared to last season where uh, Team Liquid like didn't perform as everyone expected? Like last season going into CRL, everyone expected us to basically win, like do amazing. Uh, we didn't actually end up doing that well because you know, last season like we didn't have a coach so for sure like adding the coach eb7 which in my opinion the best coach like we could uh, ever ask for so a big shout out to eric for sure like if you're watching this 
um yeah thank you and of course also canario like adding canario to the team was definitely definitely a really um yeah how you say like a major change like he's in my opinion the best player in the world for sure and then also like we actually ended up being a great two versus two partner like in the end i think we ended up seven and two like in two versus two sets so that was of course also amazing so definitely like uh yeah those two additions like those two changes helped a lot and of course like just um mentality like kind of like the um, how you say this like the team chemistry i would say like how we like treat each other like of course like right now we're such uh yeah stronger like friends because last season kind of not necessarily like random like we already knew each other like i already knew for example diego for a long time but in my opinion right now like this season was um yeah even stronger so let's actually hop into uh let's actually go to the youtube comment section so i'll actually quickly refresh the post just to make sure like i actually have the questions i do want to apologize if i missed your question by the way like it's impossible to answer all of those questions but i'm just trying to pick like the um, yeah, how you say this, like, interesting ones. This match, by the way, in the background is super close. Like, here, the Magic Archer, I thought it would be a good game because the Magic Archer, if it had, uh, if it would have um, hit one more time, like, I would have actually uh, lost because it would be fireball range. But as you see, Magic Archer was actually pushed back by the Mega Knight. And then, um, I believe the left side tower goes down. Anyways, I feel like the right side tower also would have gone down. Also, guys, I'm sorry for the BM, by the way, in the um, in the background. I don't know why, I just sometimes, like, like to BM um in competitions like kind of like releasing um the stress so i do want to apologize for that guys but anyways um yeah let's hop into the uh, comment section on youtube let's actually pull on another match so the first question on youtube with the uh, with the most likes was actually someone asking andy was asking how much uh, languages do you speak so my first language because i'm from the netherlands i don't know if you guys know that but uh if you didn't now you do i'm from the netherlands so of course my main language is dutch Second language, which is kind of fluently, like I still um, sometimes struggle like with words, stuff like that, but uh, it's English. So in my opinion, like I speak English quite well. And then also what I'm uh, working on right now, like actually when playing with Canario, like sometimes I actually speak Spanish. So kind of like learning Spanish right now, wouldn't necessarily say that I speak the language like fluently, but I actually understand like quite a lot and speaking right now is getting better and better. So kind of three languages um and then some other languages like for example german um like the language like german is quite similar to dutch so i kind of understand like um get yeah, german a little bit but then again like not fluently like speaking so good question for sure let's hop into the next one and this is from zoom he's asking what do you think is the most overpowered card so in my opinion right now in clash Royale, you don't really have an overpowered card of course there are a bunch of cards which are like super good like snowball still super good barbell still super good um dark prince right now is good for example goblin cage is good like i don't think there's like one like really overpowered card but there are just yeah many strong cards like musketeer is really good um cards like that like in my opinion those are super good but then again like you don't um yeah how you say this like have an over, uh, overpowered card so next question is from even he's asking who are you most scared of to face in zero words this season like i'm going to china um tomorrow so in my opinion, we're not really scared of anyone, um, like as a team that might sound cocky, but it's true. Like we're not really scared, but more like excited. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but more like excited to play them. Like for example, Nova, who um, yeah won the world championship like last time, I would love to play them. Like, I think we actually have a really good, um, guess, um, how you say this, chance like at beating them. So next question is Juan and he's asking, when did you realize that you were beyond good at Clash Royale? So I never really think, like I still don't really think that I'm like beyond good, like uh, at Clash Royale. Of course, at some moments, like I knew that I was doing really well, like in tournaments, performing really well, but I never really considered myself like the best player in the world. I know that many people actually did like say that like for um, a long time, especially especially in 2017, when I was w winning like every tournament, but I was always just trying to yeah be myself, trying to have fun, just play my own game. And then while doing that, like actually ended up doing, uh, yeah, really, really good in tournaments. So next question is from Wilking10 um, underscore. He's asking, what do you believe the best card in Clash Royale is? And do you think Ice Spirit is viable in the meta? So it's kind of similar actually to the last question. So as I said earlier, like, I don't think there's like an overpowered card. I don't think there's the best card. Um, and Ice Spirit is viable in the meta. Yeah, for sure. Like Ice Spirit isn't really like a win condition or something. Ice Spirit is actually one of my favorite cards. And it's just, yeah, super good for a cycle, for defense, for um not necessarily kiting like ice spirit is not really a kite card but it's just yeah super good on defense sometimes on offense like chipping away um behind the hawk rider maybe with a balloon like ice golem um balloon and the ice spirit behind it like for example to be able to catch some minions then you can snowball or zap them away so let's actually go down uh to the next question so this one is from Amiris. he's asking what was the first deck you remember having success with at a competitive level so my first uh, live event was actually ESWC back in 2016. So actually a really long time ago. But I remember um, 
back then like i created my own minor rocket deck with like princess knight inferno tower rocket look um mega main and ice spirit i think that was exactly like the um, the deck list like that like exactly the eight cards i just mentioned and i remember having a lot of success with deck deck so the first yeah deck which comes up in my mind like um after hearing this question is definitely that deck so let's hop into the next um question guys he's asking what's your favorite cr player keep up the good work so thank you so much by the way uh, I don't really have a favorite CR player for sure. Like I have a lot of respect for Canario. Like I'm actually really uh, yeah, happy that he ended up joining Team Liquid because as I said earlier, like I definitely consider him, um, if not the best player in the world, like definitely one of the best players in the world. So I would say, let's just hope into the next question guys. I'll probably wrap up the video soon because I actually want to record like multiple, uh, like pre-record multiple videos before China because I will be going for like eight days to China. And then of course afterwards, like travel back to the Netherlands. So probably won't have much time at all to be able to record. Uh, well, for sure not in China. And then tomorrow I said, we're actually leaving. So basically today, like I have to record a bunch of videos. So I'll, I guess I'll just put, um, yeah, one more replay. And then I'll actually, yeah, answer a few more questions, like three more minutes. So next question is from uh, Miha. He's asking, he's asking, what was your best match at Sierra West? So in my opinion, uh, um, the best match like I played, the most intense match, was actually against Linz because um, I feel like I went all the way to the last um, yeah, kind of like seconds. Like I feel like there were like 20 seconds left into overtime. The Hawk Rider like at the end, I don't know if you guys remember uh, watching this match or if you guys watched this match, but I actually ended up winning. Um, his Hawk Rider like in the end actually ended up getting a hit. Like even though I, I spent like Dark Prince, um, I feel like it was Mega Mian, Barbell, and then Baby Dragon like all on defense like on the Hawk Rider, but he actually used his Earthquake and the Snowball. Hawk Rider still got a hit. Uh, bring it down to like all the way to 60 HP and then afterwards like with the counter attack I actually ended up taking his tower so that was super intense um, and then we actually ended up winning the match also like with that match so definitely really yeah like fun match and uh, that's why I actually put it as my best match in Sierra, well, uh, in Sierra West excuse me next question is from uh, Drew Mill again like I'm sorry if I uh, pronounced your name uh, wrong guys but he's uh, asking what's the reason behind the name Surgical Goblin so I think I actually explained it earlier, but for you guys who don't know it, like Surgical is just, um, like I actually picked Surgical from Clash of Clans, which actually like I used to play before like downloading CR, like I still actually play sometimes like uh, Clash of Clans a little bit, but not really, but there used to be like an attack, for example, Surgical Goho, um, which I use like a lot. So that's actually, yeah, why I picked Surgical, like the first, uh, like the first part of my name. And then Goblin was just something random, like which came up in my mind. Um, and then let's do a few more questions guys as I said like I would just yeah play this match and then I will end up the episode So next question is from uh, Danny. He's asking hey surgical will you upload Brawl Stars videos again? You are my Clash Royale hero greetings from Mexico amigo. So thank you so much uh, Muchas gracias and he's um, yeah, as I said like asking Brawl Stars videos again So probably not I do like playing Brawl Stars, but in my opinion um, Yeah, it just doesn't really fit to my channel like sometimes I play not uh, yeah often anymore and I just don't really feel like yeah making videos on it right now. Maybe in the future, like who knows? But for now, like I'm not planning on uh, yeah doing any Brawl Stars videos. So next question is from Choosing. He's asking, do you enjoy playing any other games besides Clash Royale? So as I said earlier, like we um I do actually play like Clash of Clans still a little bit, not much, but I just log in like once a day, like for example for five minutes or maybe a little bit more, like some days of course. But in my opinion, um yeah if you're a pro player at like one game like if you're spending so much time in one game you don't really have time to like play any other game so in my opinion like if you ask most of the pro players they don't really play any other games like um yeah much so next question is from kata kata he's like what's the reason behind your name oh actually uh, i just answered that he also says by the way lots of uh, love from india and congratulations for your wins at crs so thank you so much and i already answered your question earlier so i hope it's clear now um let's see another question oh this guy's actually or this question is actually really easy m1 lod is asking what's your real name so my real name is frank um and then the last question not the least uh then the last question but not the least is class jan he's asking what have you studied and have you finished it so i actually started studying economics um but because of clash Royale and because of my youtube channel like i didn't really have time to combine it so right now with the help of um yeah like my parents like we actually decided like my family we actually decided that it would be better right now for me to take just uh, this opportunity like to fully focus on this and then if needed in for example a couple of years 
a couple of years. Hopefully not, of course, because I'm yeah, super passionate about what I'm doing right now. And I love uh, what I'm doing right now. But if needed, I can always come, uh, like go back to studying. But right now, um, yeah, instead, I have this opportunity. And probably in a few years, I won't. So that's why I actually decided to do that. But anyways, guys, this will probably do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys, uh, yeah, I answered as many questions as you guys um, yeah, could ask. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I will try to answer them after this video. Probably in a couple of days, though, because I will be going to China tomorrow. But anyways, this will do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smack that like button. If not, subscribe to the channel yet. Feel free to subscribe, and I will see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.